going to walk through the step-by-step -step process on installing your Pierce winch. Here are some tools and parts used for today's install. Please keep in mind that we have a pre-cut outline for the winch now and ready to go, so you'll need to cut out the hole for your own winch. Step 1. After removing the winch from the box, install the angle mounts onto the winch frame. Step 2. Measure the finished frame to ensure a clean placement on the truck bed. Step 3. As dimensions match, place the winch carefully onto the truck bed. As shown, framing the angle mounts are an option for a clean, more finished look. Mount the frame using a total of 8 grade 8 or G8 bolts at least 3 eighths of an inch thick as required. Step 4. After successfully placing the winch on your truck, lock washers as well. Step 5. Next, connect the power cable from the solenoid to a positive power source. Step 6. Wire a 4 gauge ground from the winch motor directly to the negative terminal of the truck battery using the PS501R. Step 7. Also, install and connect the safety cutoff switch at any easy, reachable distance from the winch. The cable we used was the PS501. Step 8. After connecting the cutoff switch in the ground line to the truck battery, install the wire onto the drum as shown. Feed the remaining length onto the winch drum while keeping the tension high. Step 9. Power the newly mounted and installed winch. Pull the cable in while applying resistance and tension. Otherwise, the cable will let loose on you and will tangle on the drum. Now you have your Pierce winch ready to pull. If you have any questions or need more information, contact us at www.piercesales.com.